today um, I'm doing some some deep cleaning on my Mossberg 535 and decided just to dig the camera drag the camera out here because I wanted to show you guys I'm sure uh, hunters already know this but I want to show you guys how simple uh, this shotgun really is and this is one of the reasons I really like Mossbergs one of the reasons I like pump shotguns too even though um, I will say that semi-automatics can be very nice especially for uh, sitting positions and and uh, there's lots of awkward hunting positions out there where it's nice to have uh, semi-automatic for a fast follow-up shot but um, what I really like about uh, the pumps and about this gun in particular is it's so easy to take apart and so what you're looking at right now basically is the entire thing broken down short of a few pieces of course you could take off um, the uh, the magazine tube here has been Loctited on by uh, by Mossberg and So I don't think they generally expect you to take take that off for routine cleaning and maintenance and then If you look in here, I don't know how I can see that. Let's see Let me grab a flash. If you look inside the receiver here you can see that uh, extractor and that is screwed in you can see that so you could take out your extractor and that uh, so we're not going to do that necessarily today either but you can see basically on the underside of this shotgun that we basically gutted the whole thing so you can see the the opening for the, the barrel on this end right here the lights coming through and you can see the port over here where we eject eject or load one at a time of the shells and we basically gutted uh, gutted this whole thing and uh, it just you can see some gunk in there uh, this shotgun specifically gets drug around in the field a lot uh, for me I, I take this you've seen it lying in the dirt or wherever so it gets dirty it gets drug around and um, it's just so easy to take it apart and clean it, and that's what I like. So off camera, I have what I have done is you can also see, of course, here's your trigger assembly, and there's your the lever for uh, to cock the gun initially, and that sort of thing. And so we're not going to take apart the trigger assembly again. I don't think that's necessarily required. I did do a little bit of scrubbing. I just took a brush, scrubbed around on there, hit some parts. I had had a couple of shells I experimented with and lost some. Uh, some gunpowder got in the action, so I've got a little bit of gunpowder on everything too that kind of stayed unburned. Here's your shell lifter, your elevator. So uh, on these Mossbergs, on the pump Mossbergs, it stays up, which is so nice because it makes it easy to load, really easy to load. So I haven't done any cleaning on this, and then I also um, did just shoot out the bolt. Um, I really like this, I've been using this stuff over here called gun scrubber and I really like this it works really well for uh, stuff like this where you have a bolt and you just want to shoot it down in there and get that grease out of there or whatever without having to you know take apart the bolt obviously or clean out like a firing pin uh, firing pin chamber or something like that and this works really well for that and then you can just put a light coating of oil back on it but um, yeah, anyway, you can see we pretty much gutted this whole thing. Here's the forearm right here. It just slides back in. So this all goes back together so easily. Well, if you can see that, there's a little bit of gunpowder right there on the... That attaches to the underside of the bolt and combines with the action bars to produce the uh, back and forth motion of the bolt, work the bolt. So then you got your shell stop here and here again i think yeah you can see on the shell stop there i got a little bit of gunpowder and there's some dirt back there and stuff like that so it was time it gets dirty but uh it's so easy to take apart and clean that 
uh, makes it easy. I'm not, I'm not afraid to drag it around and get it dirty because it's pretty easy to take apart and clean. So I uh, just thought I would show you that. And then I might show you, um, I'm going to clean these up and I'll show you how we put it back together. So it's all cleaned up now. I got it all cleaned up. And so now we're going to work on putting this thing back together. So first thing is the uh, shell lifter here. We got the elevator. So I'm going to try to stand this thing up here the best I can, I guess. And let me work just a little bit of ballast all on this. I like to get all these parts just wiped down with ballast all before they back, go back in the gun because they never know. Especially with this gun, uh, when the next time I have it apart might be. There we go. Okay, so the elevator's back in. And we're going to put the bolt back in. little shell carrier back in, put that here on your, the underside of your bolt, pull that back, and actually I should have put in my, uh, put my forearm back on first, let's get an egg loose back down to go right in these action bar holes. All right, I got the forearm back in. Now we just got a slider action bias back here to where they hook up with this. Now, put our shell stop back in. Trigger in this little corner here. That goes down there like that. We're back in business there. Let's see, I actually didn't clean the uh, barrel just yet. So give me just a second, I'm going to mop out this barrel. I'll put it back on. Okay, guys, well, she's all back together. So, those of you who have lost because I didn't show you the barrel, but you just uh, put the action halfway back <coughs> and um, screw on that nut so which is attached to the barrel and the barrels back on so um yeah i deep clean this one every once in a while normally you don't have to take down uh the guts of a shotgun like this but i really get a lot of junk in there dirt and grass and everything because i get i uh drag this around in the field a lot so uh, when i need to take care of business this is the gun i usually reach for so uh, anyway every now and then i deep clean it just to get all the gunk out of it and make sure it's not rusting or anything like that uh, it does pretty well that way. I've never had any rust on it, and even though I've left it uh, for months without cleaning it after being in the field or whatever, which you shouldn't do, <laughs> I think that's probably because of this coating. I don't know what this uh, coating is that Mossberg puts on there, but I think when they built it, they had in mind that it was going to be a, uh, is marketed as a waterfowl 
edition of the 535. So uh, I think they planned on it being banged around in a boat a little bit. And uh, so they put some rust proofing in there and it's done very well so far. So thanks for watching. I hope this uh, helped you see how you can take down your actually your model 500 or your 535. Maybe even the 835. I've never tried to take that one apart. But uh, for sure the 500 series is just really easy to take down and clean like this. So thanks for watching.